<laughs> Alright guys, well we got this old rust service lamp. I think it was my grip. Probably had it out in the shop. I don't know what was originally wrong with it, but I uh, had it fixed pretty much. But uh, it's not the point of the video. We're using it so I can see here. Need to get the right kind of bulb for it, but um, to close the door that I'm putting on here that I just put some hinges on not too long ago. And, uh, need to go ahead and uh, fasten a magnet. So I got some nice, decent um, length screws. These uh, Blue Hawk screws. Now, we'll go ahead pull that light out of the way. Now, this is not the world's best job of cutting, but it's an okay cut. So what I need to do is swing these hinges, both of them outward. One of them's a little bit longer because it was a uh, a full fledged one before. And I uh, cut it a little to uh, shorten it up. But how I'm going to do this is when I line that back up to where I want to have it, because I want it just a little off the ground. There we go. I'm not going to put them in completely yet, but, uh, I'll well, do that anyways. <laughs> then, this side here will be lifted up a little bit more. And um, this hinge here, actually, yet yeah, could have actually been left the way it was, which would have went back in and around. So what I'm going to do here, real quick for you guys, is show you here how I'm going to fix that hinge again. Well, I just got to level it out. Okay? So. Take this hinge, and we'll take two from here too. On the spent floor here, and what we're gonna do is hit that as level as we can. And another way you can do this too, to level it out, again that I didn't think of until now, is a bench place. And you could just simply hit forward or back, depending on which direction you needed it. So that's uh, about as smooth as I'm going to get it. So, now, I'm going to re-look uh, at how I'm going to do this hinge. I might do this one differently. That hinge can screw two screws in the top and two screws on the door itself. This one, I'm going to go... Same way, just this hinge is done a little differently, so the hinge has to go inside the door a little more than the other one did. So, quick and easy way to do this. Good. Get you guys pull back up here. We'll go ahead and raise it up just a little bit. Come to where it was before. 
and uh, screw it in. So we will uh, find the original. Just one original screw hole, so this should be just enough to uh, set the screw in. Then take a second one in. Put that in. Then, <clears throat> well, let's see. Gotta redo something here. <laughs> the door binds really badly. <laughs> but, um, anyways, the door will be up and about there is good. So, what I'm gonna do is take the. Uh, Drill. Whoops. I'm trying to uh, keep my hand on the hinge so it don't shift any. Well, you don't shift much because that bottom hits really quickly. So, we'll drill that in good amount. Um, then we will lift it up a little. See, that binds in good. So now, simply put some screws in. This one, I can uh, put a decent amount of screws in. So I'll go ahead and add uh, the ultimate amount I can. Now, go ahead here, sit you, bitch, and uh, give you a little look. Well, here, this is better. So now, that door, it's just a, a little bit of a sticking. So now, that door opens to here, which is just enough for me to get over and in. So now, there's this latch mechanism for it, as you can tell. So when that door closes, that latch mechanism will come across to about here. And what I have is a shorter screw here. So the other ones I were using, was using, I mean, would have uh, completely poked through the door. So this works a little bit better. So, yeah, um, there we go. So now when I swing the door shut, well, I have to do a little tweaking. Apparently I had it where I thought it was, but it's, uh, it didn't line up exactly how I thought it was going to. So, uh, here's the hinge, and when the door is closed, I can slightly still see it. Yeah, <laughs> see, I keep going right back where it was. We'll try that same spot, but down a ways. So, uh, about here. Oops. So, um, I don't know if this screw will, uh, poke through the whole door or not. Yeah, yeah, that would have. <laughs> there it is, anyways. So, we'll, we'll redo this here. You would take this magnet. And I just want to 